Hey guys, it's IB Hunter. I'm relatively new to astrophotography. I've only been doing this for about four months. But I do have a goal to capture the polar ice caps and surface detail of Mars during the opposition on July 27th. To be able to do this, I've been practicing on Jupiter and Saturn. And I got some decent results that I'd like to share with you guys. Saturn's opposition was on June 27th of 2018. That night I concentrated on Jupiter and Saturn, and I took four images of Jupiter. The first was at 10.22 p.m., the second one was at 10.27, 10.30, and the fourth one was at 10.31. First I captured a moon setting over Jupiter's horizon, so I looked it up in Stellarium and found out that it was Europa. After processing, I decided to make a time lapse of the four images, and I really liked the way it came out. You can really see Jupiter's rotation over just nine minutes. You can see the movement of the great red spot and how the moon sets behind the horizon. I was surprised at how consistent the images of Jupiter came out over the four images. Man, you gotta just love milking the details out of the cloud bands and Jupiter's atmosphere. And that little animation, I just love it. Well, the next thing on the list was Saturn. And I was able to get some fairly clear images of it. And I was able to process them and they came out pretty good. Then I got to play around with my camera settings to try to get a little more detail and see if I could get some of Saturn's moons. With about a two second uh, exposure, I was able to get five of Saturn's moons after processing. I only saw four at the, on the scope, but after processing, I saw the fifth one. Now, when I was at the scope, I was able to do a 12 second exposure, and I, I was able to capture that fifth one uh, without any processing, but I wasn't able to get that one to process to look decent. But uh, this one right here, looks pretty good if you don't mind the planetary disk and the rings being way overexposed now earlier on that same night I was able to get a few images of Venus it was fairly low on the horizon and there was a few wispy clouds going over but the images came out okay you can definitely make out the Terminator line now finally I have an image of Mars you can uh, make out some of the surface detail, but it is very hazy, and the planet doesn't have very sharp edges. I don't know how much of that is due to the storm, or if it's just something with the way I'm uh, collecting the data or processing the data. If anybody has any ideas of what I could do different, please leave some comments in the comment section below. After all, this is my target goal. And our last image right here is the Uranus. I was able to capture this image a couple of weeks ago. It ended up coming out as just turquoise looking fuzzy dot, but hey, I got it. If anybody has any ideas how to improve this image any, please leave me a comment down below. Now after I have a decent image of all the planets in the solar system, and after Mars opposition, I'll probably end up trying to concentrate on some of the deep sky objects that I've been neglecting so far. I'll start knocking out some of the bugs in my tracking camera and mount system and start using my DSLR for my primary imager. As I get a few decent images together, I'll post them up to YouTube for everybody to see. I hope you guys enjoy viewing the images as much as I enjoy capturing them. Thanks, and goodbye.